All right, everybody, welcome back to Nails by Sora. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Please take this opportunity, if you will, to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, you can decide, you can wait until the end to like it. I don't mind, but I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, this is a channel all about nails, if you couldn't figure that out. <laughs> but um, today we're going to be doing another uh, one of the viral um, nail techniques that's going around right now. And that is the 3D shell technique. Now, you really don't need to have anything special to do it. Just some chrome powder if you want a little bit of iridescent magic and some thicker builder gel. Um, I tried doing it with 3D Sculpting Gel in um, the last video I was recording, which I think this portion of it is going to replace that, or I'm going to just post it as a separate video, I'm not sure yet, but um, I tried using it with 3D, doing it with 3D Sculpting Gel, and that's really not um, the way you do it. So it didn't work out too well. Um, so all you really need is Builder Gel, something that's going to stand up on the nail a little bit uh, more and something that's going to spread out a little bit and melt into the nail so that you get the great, the slow progression of a raised um, accent going back into the slope of the nail. But for it, I'm going to be using one of my favorite colors of the moment. This is Besame, which I've used in a lot of videos recently. If you have watched my other videos, you may have seen me use it. But it's this beautiful blue, uh, blue green turquoise. And then I'm going to be doing two different styles of chroming. One with flakes and one with powder. Uh, just because I was originally just going to do the powder and then I saw my flakes sitting there and with the 3D effect over it, I, I really want to see how it comes out. So to give you a little preview of what that looks like, uh, this is uh, Bert, uh, Bridie from Magpie Beauty. Uh, yes, Magpie, uh, Magpie Beauty. Can't get my words out today, but it's a uh, white iridescent um, uh, chroming powder. And then also by Magpie Beauty, this beautiful bluish purple uh, chroming flake, which you burnish into the nail called Bloom. So I just think that this is going to have a lot of pop with the 3D gel, well, not 3D, but the 3, a 3D effect over it. And I'm really excited to see that. So I'm going to do two nails with uh, Besame, then I'm going to do one nail each with Bridie and Bloom, and then we're going to get into the 3D effect. All right, so when you go in and you chrome, you'll want to use a no white top coat. So I'm going to put on a coat of no wipe top coat, and then I'm only going to cure it for 20 seconds. And that's because I'm going to finish the cure after I rub in the chrome powder. I think I'm just going to use my finger for it. I do have several implements that I've used in the past. Silicone tools, um, eyeshadow applicators, um, any number of things, but I seem to, my finger seems to work the best. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm going to cure for 20 seconds and then we're going to start with Brighty. All right, we are partially cured. I'm going to take Bridie. I'm going to upend it onto my finger. And now I'm just going to rub it into the surface. I don't like these stands. They don't work well. I'm gonna go in a circular fashion. And it's going to move all over the place going to pick up a little bit more and just really burnish it into the surface. Try to get it as shiny as possible. Seem to be having a little bit of difficulty on the right hand side. I don't know if maybe it didn't really catch the light in the lamp or what's going on, but that's okay. So I'm just going to finish rubbing that in and then I'm going to take 
my floofy brush and brush off the excess and then finish the cure. And while that's finishing, not 90 seconds, 60 seconds, I'm going to go and do, first I'm gonna cover Bridie because I don't wanna knock it over. Little alcohol to clean off my gloves. And now I'm going to go back in with no wet top coat for the second nail. I'm gonna get this in for 20 seconds. And now we're going to do the bloom chrome flakes. Same process. Just gonna wipe it into, or rub it rather, into the surface of the nail. Sometimes with the flakes, it works better to use a fluffy brush. Just gonna dip it in here. If you don't have a fluffy brush, but you have a silicone tool, you can use that as well. Or you can go back and forth if you can't decide. I think that's good. Once again, I'm going to go in and finish the curing process, and then we're going to go in with the 3D effect. Moving along, the builder gel that I'm using is the SICK SIC um, level of gel by D Gel. It is clear builder gel, and the SIC SICK is the thickest formula that they have. It's in the pump action, which I absolutely love and I'm going to be using a long liner. So in order to do this, you want to fully saturate your brush and you want a rather large bead at the top because you're going to place it down at the top, wiggle it around, and then pull it straight down the nail. Just gonna get a little bit more. And then you're going to do the same on either side. Now this is a little bit longer of a nail than I've seen it done on. You're just gonna curve the line. So it does look a little odd. It looked odd with the one that I did the other day as well but you wanna make sure that you bring it down next to the other lines and not on top of it. Because you're kind of doing like a clamshell and clamshells fan out. I think I'm going to do one side uh, flash care and then do the other side because I don't want it to start spreading, although it doesn't seem like it is before I finish. That one connected, which I'm not too happy about. But yeah, I think I'm gonna flash cure it and then I'll move on to the left side. All right, now moving on to the other one. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up a nice bead of gel, lay it down rather thick at the top, 
wiggle it around to widen it a little bit and then drag it straight down. I'm just going to do another one to make it a little bit thicker. And then continuing down on either side. I kind of think I need a brush that's somewhere in between this one and the next size down I have. So I think this one's a little bit long, but I know the other ones are a little bit short. It's very, um, uh, Goldilocks. Gonna go right in with the other side because I don't want to bother with flash carrying it. So these are our two shells. I can already tell you which one was my favorite and that would be this one. Cause the way you turn it, the light really hits it differently. You get the different shades of the flakes and it really has this great underwater mermaid mm -hmm. scales feel to it. But you do want to make sure that you top coat it. But when you're top coating it, you don't want to flood the ridges because then you're going to lose the effects. So scrape it in there, but not too hard because you don't want to dist disturb the chroming powder that's underneath um, the areas where the gel isn't laying. So that brings us to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really do love this chroming effect a lot more than the one on the left. I just think it adds a little something extra and it really helps pick, out, pick up the light as you twist and turn it. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you'd like to know the products that I used, everything will be listed in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you soon. Bye.